You guys notice anything? About my shirt? Shiny. That's because there's a dress code here. Not really. But if you do want to interact with the creatures that we're going to see, you want to wear red. They like red. Don't worry, it's not vampires. Today we're going to go see some butterflies. They have so much stuff to do here and they've actually added a few things since the last time I was here. I'm not really sure exactly where I want to go in first. Maybe... Yeah, let's do the mirror maze. I love the layout of this one. All lines hanging down. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I've always loved these. Here we have a little dead end. And if you guys notice that I'm navigating through here pretty easily, that's because I actually used to work at a place that had a mirror maze, and so I got pretty good at it, and I know the secret of how to find your way really easily. Not gonna tell you guys what it is, though. <laughs> Actually, I kind of did go get hung up a little bit on that one. <laughs> they have some corners in here. I guess maybe I should say I know how to get through these without bumping into one of the mirrors. Whoa, look how green I am. They've actually changed this one since the last time I was in here. It's a lot bigger now. They have crickets chirping in the background. <laughs> Okay, never mind what I said about not running into one. Oh, here we are. And it seems I made my way back to the entrance instead. Hmm. Only one way to solve this little issue. I'm gonna go through it backwards. Mirror maze, take two. I recognize this place. This is where I got lost a while ago. So I know I've done the whole thing. I think I figured it out, guys. Some people just walked out of what I thought was a mirror. <laughs> So I went that way, and success that time. Now for the science center. That's new since the last time I was in here. <gasps> I found a lizard. Hello. That looks really uncomfortable, the way that you're holding your arm. Oh, there's another one, eating a cricket. This guy's pretty cool. Look at his feet. Love how sparkly these guys are. Well, you're just gorgeous. Oh, look at those colors. Probably the most interesting view of one that we're gonna get. I like the underneath of his hands. It's so cute. Here's what he looks like from the back. This cane toad here is, I would say, as big as my head. Maybe not quite that big. Definitely as big as my hand. This is a major skink. Major skink? Trying to hide from us. We have little blue-tailed skinks around here. Here's another skink. This one's a crocodile skink. Aw, hello. You're so cute. And a leaf frog. He's pretty nifty. And unlike the Dilophosaur, this guy actually does have frills. As we come up the ramp, uh, it looks like it's time for something else that I haven't seen yet. It's the banyan tree adventure. So basically this is just a room full of bungee cords and stuff that you can trip on and climb on, glow in the dark stuff. But it's not just stuff to climb on, there's also some facts scattered around about the banyan trees. So here we are at the butterflies. I've got my nectar flower and let's see if I can get one to come to me. Oh, that one's huge. They're all over the place. Oh. Did I get them? Did you guys see them? Love the underside of his wings or her wings. They've got all kinds of cool plants in here. I don't know what these are called, but I like them. I made a new friend. This one keeps coming back. Oh, some of them are labeled. Here's a weeping fig. I found some blue ones. Okay, you guys, the mission, you get a blue one to land on me. It's gonna happen. Oh, look at this, I found a bird. Oh, that was pretty. Okay, where'd they go? I'm chasing them down. Here's what, there it is. Oh, one upstairs. Well, you're not a blue one, but aren't you gorgeous? Stripey one. Every color but blue is landing on my thing. As soon as 
I got upstairs, all the blue butterflies went back downstairs. Okay, so this is it right here, the blue morpho. This is what we're looking for to land on the flower. Ooh, I also wouldn't mind seeing a purple spotted swallowtail. Tail J, I haven't seen either of those yet. Okay, you guys, that tickles. I found a mushroom. Trying a new technique. I'm just gonna sit here on the butterfly bench, see if they'll come to me. One minute, 37 seconds later. I got impatient. They're pretty cute. This is what we're feeding them. One scoop orange powder Gatorade and two quarts of water. Don't forget to look down as you're walking through this place. Don't wanna accidentally step on one. And they put food out for them. That's pretty cool. And they keep landing on me. There's one on my shoulder right there. I love this. Coolest thing of the day right there. Well, other than these guys. And this right here is an example of why you don't want to touch the butterflies. Mm, poor little guy. They have one made out of citrine too. These are so cool, you guys. And this is really cool. You can see various stages of the life cycle. I love the walls in here. I feel like I could run into Indiana Jones at any minute. It's My stowaway's still there. Here's a better shot of my friend right here. He finally flew off my shoulder. And there's some of the birds that we've been looking at. The blue dacnies, or I don't know how to pronounce it. Red-legged honey creepers and yellow-legged honey creepers. And another mushroom. Okay, that tickles. Ah, that really tickles. <laughs> Dude, you're going about it the wrong way. You have to get to it from the top of the flower. I love how their body continues the pattern of the wings. It's so pretty. Now he's on my shirt. There's another one. There's some really pretty flowers in here. There's another blue one. Let's see if I can catch it. Hey, buddy. Want some nectar? Oh, that didn't work. Here, butterfly. Here, little Lepidoptera. Come get the flower. You're not having it, are ya? Wait, what? Butterflies don't have lungs. They breathe in little openings on the sides of their abdomen called spiracles. I know I'm not supposed to touch the butterflies. They're touching me. Well, that one's got some blue on it. This appears to be a scarlet Mormon. He's from Asia. And the blue ones do seem to be a little bit more aggressive. They keep chasing each other around. Apparently it's a thing. Everyone in here seems to be going after the blue ones. I have not seen a single person catch one yet. Do you know why I can't catch one? She doesn't know. What's next? I like this bench. It's so cool. They've got a lot of really cool stuff like that in here. You guys, I just got attacked. There were about three of them flying in my face. That was one of them. You guys, it wasn't me, but success. Someone has caught a blue one. And this is another thing pretty cool. They have magnifying glasses if you want to get up close and personal. You guys, I spent so long in there. That was so cool though. If one thing, it is really warm in there, which I of course am 100% okay with. You may want to wear short sleeves. They do have a coat hanger outside for you to put your coat if you come in the winter or something like that, but just be prepared. They have fun butterfly packs all over the place, even here in the gift shop. And a penny press machine. That old frog is so cute. What do you think? Will this be catopoly or would it be pronounced catopoly? Let me know in the comments. I finally caught a blue one, you guys. And here you can color your own little plush butterfly. 3D butterfly stickers. I have some of those at home. I forget where I got them though. You know, funny thing about the name of that place. When it originally opened, it was actually called the Butterfly Place. And everyone just mispronounced it wrong. Kept calling it the Butterfly Palace. And when they moved to this location, they actually changed the name. Guess they got sick of that. Before we go, look at those clouds up there. Aren't those cool? Bet you guys weren't expecting this. I never did get to see the movie yesterday, and I never did get a blue butterfly to land on me. Their admission's good for three days, so why not? That one's pretty. I don't think I saw one of those yesterday. I don't know if I saw one of those yesterday either. I might have. They have so many different kinds of butterflies here. Today I'm trying a different strategy, a little butterfly psychology. Yesterday I noticed that the blue ones were not landing on anyone, except for the lady with the flowered shirt on. They were also falling 
following each other. The blue ones were going toward the other blue ones. I couldn't decide which blue shirt to wear, so naturally I wore all three. I got one that's kind of iridescent, like their wings. The flowery number, I disguised myself as a plant. And some sequins going on. Sparkle, sparkle. It hasn't worked yet, but I've come close. Oh, almost, I think it touched me. Oh, it touched me again. This might work today. Look at the body on that one, I love that. If you look really close, they even look furry. And all those pretty patterns on the wings, those are scales, you guys. Hello. Will you be my friend? Doesn't it look good? You know you want some. Oh, almost. Oh, so close. I think I figured it out. The blue seems to be working. Today I've been doing a scavenger hunt of sorts. Since I have a pocket for my flower, I actually took one of these charts with me and I'm looking for whatever I can find. Now, these are not the only kinds of butterflies in here. There are so many more and I've still not found all of these yet. I'm not even close, but I found a lot that they don't have on there too. I also brought my own special kind of butterfly bait today. Shiny red ball. I'm feeling a little bit itchy, and honestly, I don't know if it's because I wore my hair down today or if it's because there are ants all over this chair that I've been sitting on. Ugh. If you guys come here, you should definitely watch the movie. It's a really neat little documentary. They wouldn't allow filming of the film, so you're not going to see any of it on this video, but they showed some really cool shots of the monarch. <laughs> no, not that monarch. I don't think I got it on film though. Either way, success. I can sleep tonight. Life mission complete. Reminds me of my cat putting his head in the treat jar. Well, even if you won't climb on it, I'd definitely make friends with this one. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try a different tactic. Success! Did you guys see that? I got one. I am way too happy about that. That's awesome. Now, did you guys know that butterflies can read? Unfortunately, they don't pay attention to the sign. That's why they have this little gate here. They inspect you upon exit. Make sure you don't have any hitchhikers. And on the other side of those little chains, there's a contamination room. I don't think contamination room is actually the word for it, but you know what I mean. An airlock so the butterflies don't get out. The forest mort blue and the great owl butterfly look kind of similar. Now I'm not sure which one it was I saw. Could have been both. Oh, look at that. That one's name is Doris. Still wishing I had an Indiana Jones hat. Well guys, what have we learned today? We've learned that one or more of my wacky butterfly psychology plans did in fact work. Don't know which one it was. Or maybe it was just easier to catch one because it's not a weekend today. That's another thing we've learned. It's slower to come on a weekday. Learned a lot about butterflies. And I learned yesterday that I'm not as good at mirror mazes as I once was. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys. See you next week.